Hi Lux Travelers, welcome back to my channel, Jade here with Lux Travel. We are a New York based luxury travel agency curating door to door itineraries for our clients traversing around the globe. Um, Seychelles is one of our specializations and we are going to Hilton La Brise on Silhouette Island. There are two Hiltons here in Seychelles, one is Hilton Northam that's located in uh, Mahe the main island where all international flights coming in and depart from and um, Hilton La Brise, which is the property we are staying it's located in Silhouette about a 20 minute boat ride from the Hilton La Brise Welcome Jetty in north um, of Mahed in Belle Ombre and uh, as soon as you arrive in Hilton La Brise, you are taken into this welcome um, salon and the staff calls out your name and you go with the staff that calls out your name. name. Uh, this part is a little awkward for me and maybe some of my clients will feel that you are back in school but as soon as you get on the buggy then um, the staff will take you to um, have a brief tour of the island and head to your villa. You are going to be in combined buggy rides with other guests most likely and um, so they might be dropped off before you or you might get dropped off after. The island is um, sort of big in size and like all other inter islands it's a granite island. Um, if you enjoy hiking and diving because underwater it's a protected marine park as well as the island uh, silhouette itself is also a national park you will enjoy this place I do have to uh, mention that the property is not great in service um, actually it's probably um, not going to make you happy in the surface offering front and also privacy will be a little bit lacking as um, the villas are quite close to actually probably right next to each other um, bicycles are not for complimentary use for guests so you will need to go to uh, the activity center and rent your bike the rental is not 24 hours as a day as maybe usually uh, my clients will be expecting as if you were renting a car. Instead, the rental ends every day by 6 p.m. So if you are, are renting on a day-to-day -day basis, then you have to bring your bike back. Uh, but if you do rent for, your, uh, for a longer period or your entire stay, then you can keep that next to your villa. We are in a beachfront um, king villa, I believe. The sand is super soft and easy to walk on. However, at certain spots, the um, rocks, once as soon as you get into the ocean, can be a little dangerous. I did also get um, scratched by the rocks, and when the wind gets, when the wind picks up. The ocean can be a little bit rough, so make sure when you swim you pay attention to where you're stepping and what's happening underneath the ocean. The villa itself is nicely designed. You have your outdoor seating area, outdoor loungers, as well as a hammock. Um, the room is set up in a junior suite set up with your couches in front of the bed and um, the bathroom is generous in size and um, also there's an outdoor shower attached and the bathtub. So I think the biggest um, kind of weak point for this property, as mentioned earlier, is definitely service. Sometimes people, um, staff will serve you in restaurants without the basic dining setup like napkins or silverwares. And it's quite difficult to get attention of someone um, I don't know if this will improve uh, when we're com completely out of the pandemic, but 
The occupancy has been really high in Seychelles for the past few months already. Um, so hopefully this is something the property will improve. And uh, the main pool is a good size. It has a kids area, an adult area, as well as a hydrotherapy area. The water sports and dive center is a little bit tricky because you have to walk from where the resort is to go in um, to go outside of the resort and walk towards the tiniest town I have seen which is um, in the beginning of uh, silhouette once you arrived at the jetty there is a dive center there and you can also get your snorkel mask um, kayak and a stand up um, paddle board and also dive there but equipments are all at um, chargeable additional rate so when you stay there you don't have your um, the standard luxury property snorkel gear stand-up paddleboard and other non-motorized water sports included um, so I think that kind of covers my overview for this property it's not a proper luxury property in my opinion but I think I have done a thorough job in warning you about all the weak points of the property and it's a very beautiful place if you are um, okay with everything I mentioned earlier as weak points there's a lot to discover on Silhouette is a very beautiful place it's easily accessible from Mahe um, as a island destination if you don't want to just stay in the main um, island um, in Seychelles so definitely um, check this out if you have particular questions specific questions send me an email via my email address linked down below I love to have your business as well if you, if you would like to have my professional travel planning assistance looking forward to be hearing from you see you in the next one